Hey, JP, nice to, nice to meet you. It's kind of weird to meet you, you know, like this. You know? <laughs> but real pleasure to meet you, man. And Julia, great to see you. Oh, my God. Good to see you. I know. It's been forever. It has been way too long. By the way, um, that, we'll get to the song in a second. But, my God, that song, I mean, it, it's, it's a goose bumper. It's one of those goose bumping tracks, man. It's just, wow. Um, thanks, JoJo. That means a lot. You put a lot of a... Uh, put a lot of ourselves into it so a lot of love in that song yeah so we're really grateful that people are resonating with it and connecting to it right now yeah okay i got so many questions about the track but um i guess first thing i want to know is uh since, since i've never met jp but I, I know you julia if you wouldn't mind describing jp to me like give me give me something that maybe n nobody knows maybe even he doesn't know um i mean he's a pretty open book so a lot of people already know a lot of things about him but i think I think my favorite thing about him is he's just, he's really silly. Um, his favorite show is Shark Tank and Jeopardy. Um, <laughs> he drinks boba almost every day. <laughs> really? <laughs> yes. <laughs> uh, um, what else? Those, I mean, <laughs> those, I guess those are things that people don't really know about yet. <laughs> now they do. <laughs> Ta-da! <laughs> so you're like a, like, like next, like, I know a lot of people that love boba, but you're, you're like next level boba fanatic, JP? We just He's, ordered some tapioca flour. It's the plan for tomorrow. We're going to make our we're own. We're going to make our own. Oh, dang. Okay. He's, he's boba, his boba addiction is, is what I am with hot cheetos, so. Oh, good Lord, we're really, yeah. Really, we're really, really <laughs> thriving here. We all know the hot cheetos addiction that Julia has. It's like, oh, yeah, yeah. That's, it's almost scary, you know. Um, <laughs> I think quarantine's an opportunity for everyone to just refine their dorkiness. Mm hmm And we're leaning into it. Mm hmm There's nothing there's nothing wrong with that. Matter of fact, it'd be wrong if you didn't do that, you know. So yeah, there's I that. Agree. Totally with you. How are you? How's your family? We're doing good. We're you know, we're dealing with this uh, you know, quarantine craziness like everybody else is, you know. I think we're um you know. Uh, it, it feels like, and I've said this a thousand times, but I think it's so accurate, at least from my point of view. I feel like we're living in a sci-fi movie, you know, in a way, you know? Totally. Uh-huh. It does feel very non-realistic, everything. <laughs> my go-to metaphor is it feels like it's 4 a.m. at all times out on the streets. It's like, it feels like someone turned the lights on at 4 a.m. Because you're driving around, there's very few people out. Anyone who is walking around, you're a little suspicious of. <laughs> <laughs> that's so good <laughs> they don't have a mask on you're like wait a minute got my eye on you. <laughs> you know come to think of it like you know six months ago if you had a mask on we'd be like wait a minute now if you don't Hold you're on. like whoa wait hey, a minute mask yeah. on. <laughs> mask on right now. Yeah. i gotta admit on my flight back from europe at the beginning of march before this started there was a guy on the plane with full gloves and mask and i and i looked at him with this skepticism with this like man this guy's paranoid and i've thought multiple times since then that i owe that guy an apology <laughs> just for my judgment he was ahead of the curve that is a fair point I'm, I'm walking around um you know which is scary enough to go into any store i'm in target yeah uh yeah target yesterday and everybody has their mask on. I'm to the point where I'm getting like a mask envy, like, oh, that's a nice mask you got. <laughs> <laughs> and this one dude was walking around. He had like, I guess, it, I, so I think it was like a painter's mask. With, you know, when they paint buildings, they have the crazy mask. Yeah. He looked like, like Darth Vader. He was like, you know, he was going in. And I'm looking at him, <laughs> yeah, in, under any other circumstance, I'd be thinking, what is this nutcase doing walking around Target with this? But now I'm thinking, dude, that's a nice mask. <laughs> <laughs> the new normal. <laughs> Oh, man. Hey, JP, tell me something about Julia. Obviously, well, I don't know if you know this, but um, she came into the radio studio. This is probably like a year plus ago. And uh, we got tattoos live on the radio. Yeah, we That's did. incredible. Which one? I got the protagonist antagonist one. Amazing. I got this little uh, Mickey Mouse meets Jack Skellington. I couldn't decide what to get. And then she walks in and I had a Jack Skellington shirt on. And I, either you had a Mickey Mouse shirt on or you're thinking about something. So it turned into a Mickey meets Jack, yeah. like that, you know. Yeah. So. I love that. Yeah, it was awesome. Love that. Only so time I've ever been tattooed on air. That was All right. so wild. I'll never forget it. That was a good time, man. So JP, oh. you're invited to come in and we'll all do, you know, you know, tats on Tattoos you know. again, it's, let's go. <laughs> it's, it's less of a commitment for Julia because she's covered. So adding another one, it blends in. I've only got like three, so. It would, it would be a high commitment tattoo if we did that again. <laughs> 
So uh, do you, do you ever think about Julia? Are you uh, I, are you debating on are you debating on getting more because you know living with Julia or hanging with Julia or writing or whatever? She's she not I wouldn't say she's covered, but she's got a fair amount. You know, so uh, are you thinking like you need to step your game up or? I mean, you've been talking about wanting yeah. to get like. There's there's a few I have in mind. There's a few I've been thinking about for a while. Uh huh. That's all we're gonna get though. Okay, we'll leave it there. All right. Top secret. Top secret stuff. <laughs> <laughs> Let's, let's jump into this track, guys. Uh, when I first heard this track, it was before, you know, before I knew about the pandemic and all this stuff going on. And even then, this song, like I said, was a big old goose bumper, man. You hear it, you're like, oh, your hair, the hairs on your arms like, ding, ding, ding. It's, just, it's just one of those. But, you know, when the pandemic kicks in, and not to say that we're at the end of the world, but there's been some, you know, four, your 4 a.m. analogy is really cool. Very apocalyptic kind of vibe going on. Man, it really hits in another on a on another level, you know. Mm -hmm. Talk about this track and the impact it's had before and even during this this uh, this whole craziness. Yeah, I mean, we wrote it last summer, so we had no idea what COVID nineteen was. Never heard the words before. Had no semblance of an idea of the kind of relevant relevance it was going to take on you know all these months later i mean when we first wrote it it was right after the earthquakes that happened in california in july um and we were kind of having this conversation about how a hypothetical catastrophe would change the way you you know went about conversations with your loved ones and how maybe in that kind of circumstance you would put love before everything else um i think the reason it's resonating now is it's just it ain't so hypothetical anymore you don't have to imagine too hard to be in that situation. We're kind of just all there. That's yeah. so true, man. I mean, what else can you, that's, I don't know what else to add to that. I mean, it, it ain't so hypothetical anymore. Wow. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. I mean. Let's go let that sink in for a second. That is, uh, <laughs> and just, it's just beautiful too, man. Just that if the world went, would you come over, right? Right? It's just so, just, uh, oh my God. <laughs> Well, congrats on on everything. Just it's just it's good to see you guys' faces. You know, it's just I don't know. I just I get you know I, we're do, we're doing fine. You know, over here and uh, you yeah. know we're really getting to know each other on another level. But yeah. it's good to see other people's faces. Like my daughter, we did a drive-by birthday party the other day, and she got so excited just to wave at somebody and oh. hang it you know, It's just I love those drive-by birthday parties. <laughs> That's adorable. That's so sweet. How old's your daughter? She is 11. She's, she's turning 12 at the uh, end of uh, June, June 27th. What's her so arm? She's doing good. Yeah, yeah. She, uh, yeah JP, she broke, she broke her arm. Um, she was doing a, this is in January. This is how our year started off. 20, 2019 was amazing. We went to <laughs> London and Paris. We had the best time ever. We come back, you know, in about January, was it January 6th or 7th? I forget. Um, she's doing, she's doing a front aerial in the garage, you know, the mats are out and the coaches are out there and they were just, you know, typical training thing. And the mat slipped, bam, cracked oh. her forearm right there. Both bones, 14 screws, two plates. Yeah. So that's, that's how 2020 started. Then good old pandemic. Woohoo. Yeah. And, and, uh, so that's, so she's, she's doing good, but God, after all this stuff, just to drive by and see a friend having a birthday party and wave at them and it's just it's just it's it's uh it's good to see your faces just just to see some real people you know we've been um we've been using saturdays as our designated road trip days and we just drive to some like most weekends i'll wake up and i'm like i miss trees i miss <laughs> nature i miss like outdoors so we'll drive just to go see a different sort of environment and just just drive we don't get out we just yeah drive to see the world a little bit so we don't feel so claustrophobic <laughs> have you driven to uh lancaster yet no no but that might okay. be next saturday look there uh, it's you know if, if this were last year just to drive to lancaster and see what i'm about to tell you to see you might not have taken me up on it but in this setting you know and lancaster is beautiful don't get me wrong but yeah. uh you drive drive to see the poppy fields. Oh, get out and take pics of the flowers. And there's and this is going to take you ten seconds, so it's no big deal. But I found it fascinating. There's a road called Musical Road. Musical and, uh, Road. Yeah, and the, if you drive, I'll get you the exact address. But if you drive over fifty five mile fifty five plus over this one stretch of road, it plays a song. 
I think it's the William Tell Overture. It's like – Oh, London. cool. Like in the grooves That's of the road? Exactly. And some grooves That's are longer, awesome. shorter. That is so cool. And I think they did I, – I think it was made originally for a Honda commercial. So when the cars drove over it, it played the song. But it's there in Lancaster, and you just – you just drive and it plays a song. And we, I looped it a couple of times. It's so, oh, yeah, I mean, we're doing that. Yeah, no, we're 100% doing that. That's 100% awesome. doing that. Strong yep. suggestion. Yep. Yeah. Okay, Maybe, good you know, to know. Knowing, knowing you guys, you'll sample it and it'll be in some, it'll be, you know, in some <laughs> you know. But, uh, hey, guys, am I forgetting uh, anything else? I mean, any, any uh, you know, by the way, JP, describe Julia. Obviously, we know Julia, you know, for a couple of years now. But give me something maybe we don't know about Julia before we take off here. Um, she's incredibly competitive at Bananagrams to the point that she, <laughs> she even cheats sometimes. <laughs> no, I don't. She cheated do yesterday. I she do. cheated I really so do. hard. I, I had to break mid-game for an interview, and I was like, pause, don't touch the board. She had like 15 tiles. I was at like two. I come back. She's like, done, peel. <laughs> yes. Julia. Oh, my God. <laughs> he, he beats me every time. I just I, I a lot, wanted one win. Got, the, 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 the banana grams have become pretty competitive. <laughs> yes, it has. She's she's very good. She's mm. very good. A lot of words in there. I love it though. So much fun. Oh my god! And final question: Families, all your families are doing uh, okay. Families are great. Yeah. Because you know, figuring it out. Yeah. Good. Like, I mean, like as, as good as they can be in this Eight. time. You know. Well, I love you both, and uh, nice to see you, Julia. Nice to meet you, JP. Let's connect up at some point when all this craziness is done. And uh, stay that. safe. I love you guys. Love, love, love. Have love, a great love, time. Love, love, Looking forward to it. Lots of love to your family. I'll, I'll let them know, Julia. Thank you. All right. Bye, JP. Bye, Bye. Julia.